I do you both think men are so bad at going to the doctor or checking themselves? We talk about it on here all the time, and it's nearly always their women, their partners' wives, that have to push them. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we don't know. That's what the whole documentary is about, and that's what, hopefully, by the end of the documentary, if people do watch it and people do check themselves, um, then it's like Mark said, if we save one life from people watching this documentary, it's, and that's... Well, it it's a little it's... bit like we're, we're very good at burying our heads in the stand. Yeah. I think ultimately we say it's something that will never happen to us. So we're sort of the little bit blasé, or the fact that if I find something, or oh, what then? You know, yeah. it's, the, it's the worry well, about it is what happens next. Um, you say, you know, it'll never happen to us. It's the most common cancer in men. Mm. One in eight men yeah. get prostate cancer at some point in their lives. Um, but if it's, if it's diagnosed early enough, the success rate of curing it is very it's, high, it's isn't it? It's the most treatable cancer. Testicular yeah. cancer um, <coughs> is the most treatable cancer if you catch it early yeah. enough. Yeah, but I how to... should men check themselves? Um, well, I think I've got a couple of because, um, yeah, I, a couple I, of I, things. Regardless yeah. of how yeah. many men are watching the programme, a lot of women will be watching the programme, and they yeah, can... yeah, yeah we don't, we don't want to make yeah. this flippant because obviously no. it's daytime television. So you know, but we are going to give you the kiwi fruit yeah. because you, as you said, for your role, you've done a lot of research about yeah. this. We've talked about it a lot. And people do need to know how they to do it. They do need to know, yeah, absolutely. So the idea is, um, I spoke to a lot of men um, that had had testicles removed, that had been through uh, testicular cancer, and the main thing they said is test yourself every day. Like, they say once a month, but when you're in the shower or when you're in the bath, there's no reason not to just mm. have a little feel and have a little test. So, yeah, so basically... Hold on, so we it's, can um, see, the camera can see it, it's, yeah. um, you, you get it between your fingers and your thumb and you just rub... Both sides, and you're if you feel anything that's abnormal, anything that you're not used to feeling, um, always do it in a hot shower or a hot bath. Um, is any that? kind of is um, it like a little lump? Any up? any lump? Any if if one's bigger than the other? Uh, I spoke to a guy who he, he said it felt like he had a rubber band around the middle of one mm. of them, and it was almost like a figure of eight shape. And he left it for 12 months, 12 months before he even told his girlfriend that he thought he had a problem. And when he told his girlfriend, she said, get to the doctors and within three days, He'd had his testicle removed, um, oh. so you just and he survived. Um, so yeah. So and it doesn't affect do. your fertility anyway if no, you have one testicle not. removed. I think that's a, a reason why men don't do anything about it. They're terrified their lives might come to mm. an end. Mm. No. Whereas <clears> the reverse is true. Yeah, absolutely. The guy that I spoke to, who'd had a testicle removed, he since went on and had two children. So yeah. there's, there's no fertility problems mm. at and all. And I think the interesting thing for me was, as a guy on the team that I swam with for a number of years, he was an Olympic medalist who. Was 30 years of age, he had testicular cancer, one of his balls removed. And ultimately, I saw someone there that was very, very fit, strong, and active, and you thought, well, it's not going to happen to that person, look yeah. how fit they are. It's nothing yeah. to it can do happen with to anybody. That. Yeah. yeah. And it strikes young, as you said. Um, yeah. 